This strikes at the heart of everything that we hold dear. This senseless tragedy has shaken our entire state to the core. And I want this community to know that every Iowan stands with you. Governor, Governor Reynolds saying Iowa stands with the community of Perry. And just in the last hour, we learned a sixth grader died in a school shooting there. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bill Shamert. I'm Quinicia Fraser. Law enforcement says a 17 year old student went on a rampage with a shotgun and a handgun. Five other victims are in the hospital right now. KETV News Watch 7's Alex McCoon leads our team coverage in Perry. That's about 45 minutes outside of Des Moines. Alex. Bill Quinesia, an overwhelming sense of gloom over Perry, Iowa here tonight. The governor and law enforcement also shaken, sharing more about how officers found victims and the gunmen inside the school here this morning. Officials say that Perry police found multiple gunshot victims inside after receiving multiple 911 calls about a shooting around 737. Students and staff sheltered in place and even ran from the school as police found the 17 year old gunman and student Dylan Butler inside dead from a self inflicted gunshot wound. Police then swept the building, finding an improvised explosive device deemed safe while medics rendered aid to six victims, one of them a middle school student now dead. The governor tonight underscoring how Iowans feel as officials share more about that explosive device. Officers located during the search of the school, an improvised explosive device. The state fire marshal and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms rendered the device safe. Numerous officers from multiple agencies were able to secure the school and verify no additional threats. Not much about it other than it was uh, pretty rudimentary and it was rendered safe by, like I said, the state fire marshal and the ATF. Officials declined to, t declined to say tonight if one of the victims, a school administrator, is a principal. Clearly, tragedy struck here today before students could return to class after winter break. Live in Perry, Iowa, Alex McLoon, KETV News Watch 7. Alex, before we let you go, I know you have been there all day. You've been talking with homeowners and businesses and parents just down the street from the school. What are you hearing tonight? Yeah, Bill, gloom is the word we heard throughout the main drag just a couple blocks away from us here. I talked to a clerk at one of the gas stations who said there's just overwhelming amounts of reporters here from across the Midwest tonight. The clerk noticing that none of the regular customers are coming in today. People are staying home and finding comfort tonight. Back to you.